Hello my wonderful friends and welcome to your karma yoga. The meaning of karma is action and to practice our karma in our day-to-day -day life or on our mat we need to go along four guidelines. The first one is to obey is our duty is our dharma is to obey the laws of the universe and to respect all of the creation around us so it can be respect towards nature animals or other human beings and of course on the mat it will be the respect we hold towards ourselves towards the creation in which we are and so if we need to modify some of the asanas or maybe skip some of them it is okay we need to let go of the ego which is the second actually guideline and respect ourselves so the second guideline as i mentioned is the ego we need to let go out of the ego mind we need to not to define ourselves you know not to say okay i'm good in such and such asana or i'm bad or i hate blah 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 don't try to attach yourself to a form or a shape or meaning okay try to be fluid as much as you can and let go out of the ego mind of who you are we are changing we are evolving and it it can change in each and every situation and in order to succeed in life and on the mat we need to actually let go of the ego okay the third one is detachment we need to detach ourselves from the outcome from the reward i'm sorry we are going to get from practicing such and such asanas or from doing that and that action in our day-to-day -day life we need to detach ourselves from situations and even people because they or those situations or other people can really harm us or shape us and by attaching ourselves to some of the asanas some of the uh, uh, people we meet around us some of the things we do in our day-to-day -day life we create a persona that is not our whole self you know and again we are coming back to the ego mind in which we need to let it go the first one which is the last one is that you are doing this action this karma without respecting any reward and that can be like even if you are succeeding in pigeon of course it's fun pigeon is a it can be a hard asana but we are not practicing the pigeon in order to succeed in the pigeon we are practicing the pigeon because this is what we need to do okay again whether it's our in our day-to-day -day life we are taking care of our children as parents because this is what we need to do we are not expecting a reward from society and so the same thing is on the mat we are not the same in each and every day and i i want you and i want myself to be fluid and to accept each and every day each and every experience we have at the same day for what it is and to say thank you and to be grateful just for our ability to be in action to be in karma okay so with all that being said you can grab your mat maybe take some water and let us begin okay so we are going to begin sitting comfortably at the center of the mat you can cross the feet in front of you take a big breath reach the arms up open the chest and look up hands together down to your heart to your anjali mudra close your eyes and before we begin moving and flowing i want you to set an intention for this class to practice your karma to practice those four guidelines those guidelines will help you both in your practice in your yoga practice and in your day-to-day -day life let's take another breath in and exhale open the eyes 
and inhale reach the arms back up open the chest exhale let's take a big side stretch so place one hand on the mat reach the other arm next to the ear you can look up to open the chest even more keep both sides of the pelvis on the mat so you want to create an anchor and elongate yourself from there one more breath in and exhale around your spine come forward and through the center let's take it to the other side so place the other hand down reach the other arm next to the ear you can look up to open the chest and again keep both sides of your butt on the mat look up and breathe deeply try to open the muscles in between the ribs and exhale round your spine come forward roll yourself back up and let's move to the back of the mat sit back to your child's pose keep the knees hip width apart so we have a bit of space between the knees release the forehead to the mat take a breath in and exhale start rounding your spine come all the way forward now you can come all the way to your upward facing dog and leave the thighs off the mat or if it's too much you can come halfway and sit back to your child's pose let's take this wave like motion a couple of times so round your spine come all the way forward or as much as you can open the chest bend the knees and sit back down two more round the spine come all the way forward open the chest and bend the knees sit back child's pose last one round your spine open the chest bend the knees and sit back to your child's pose Good, on your next exhalation, come up to all fours. And from here, I want you to point the fingers towards your knees. So we are getting even deeper to our wrist. And let's take our cat cow. So inhale, open the chest. And exhale, push the mat away and round your spine. Three more, inhale, open the chest, look up exhale round your spine look towards your navel two more inhale arch exhale round curl your spine last one inhale arch exhale round good come back to center release the hands so point them back to the top of the mat pull the navel in and up flex the feet and let's engage the core by lifting the knees an inch above the mat and coming towards our bear stand again try not to sink into your lower back pull the navel in and up hold and breathe good from here, push yourself back to your downward facing dog. You can keep the knees a bit bent, okay? It's just the beginning of the class. And come back to your bear hover above the floor. Again, exhale, push. And back. Twice more, exhale, push. Inhale, bend. Last one, exhale, push and stay. Now, this is our first downward facing dog. So let's start by bending one knee at a time, releasing any tension we hold in the hip joints, in the lower back. You can even look from side to side, 
release the tension out of the neck nice and then stay in stillness you can bend the knees a bit so you can lift the pelvis up or maybe you can extend the knees all the way and sink the heels down roll the shoulders out take a big breath in and out another breath in and out from here lift the heels bend the knees look forward and start walking to the front of the mat you can take two or four steps keep your feet about hip width apart release the upper body and again walk on one spot bend one knee at a time release the neck so we are starting slow in a moment we are going to fire up our body and we are going to respect our body and listen to our body in each and every movement for asana bend both knees and start rolling up for four for three for two and one very nice inhale reach the arms up hands together and down to your heart before we begin our sound salutation Suri Namaskar A and B I want you to practice your Ujjayi breath when you practice the Ujjayi breath you breathe in and out through your nose and when you breathe out, you contract the throat a bit. So you're creating an humming, a humming sound like an ocean wave at the back of your throat. So let's practice the Ujjayi breath together. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, construct the throat. Again, inhale. And exhale. Try to practice this Ujjayi breath for all the length of the class that will eliminate the ego mind. It will bring you back to the here and the now to be mindful and aware. Let's take one more breath in and Ujjayi breath out. Release the arms, take your feet together, and let's start with our Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach the arms up, open the chest, look up. Exhale, forward fold from the hips. Inhale, halfway, come up to your fingertips. Exhale, bend the knees and take two steps back into your plank. Take your Chaturanga, elbows close to your body. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog stay here for two breaths again try to sink the heels down good lift the heels bend the knees look forward and you can take two steps or maybe hop to the front of the mat inhale halfway exhale fold Inhale, reach up, stand up, hands together and down to your heart. Let's take it again. Inhale, reach the arms up, open the chest. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, two steps back into your plank. Take your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the chest. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Roll the shoulders out. Again, practice your Ujjayi breath. Eliminate any thoughts out of your mind. Another breath in. 
And from here, lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward and hop or step to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up, reach up. And hands to your heart. Surya Namaskar B. Bend the knees, come down into your Utkatasana. Reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. And from here you can step or jump to your Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right leg forward. Place the left heel on the mat. Bend the right knee and lift the, the arms up. Warrior one. Place the hands back down. Pivot the back legs. Step back into plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take it to the other side. Left leg forward. Place the right heel on the mat. Bend the left knee. Reach the arms up, warrior one. Exhale, hands down. Pivot the back heel, step back into plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here for two breaths. Good. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward and hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms up, Utkatasana. And come all the way up. Very nice. Let's take it one more time. Inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms up, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. And again, exhale, you can step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right leg forward. Left heel is on the mat. Reach your arms up. Viravadrasana one. Place the hands on the mat. Pivot the back heel. Step back into plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Other side. Step the left leg forward. Place the right heel on the mat. Reach the arms up. Warrior one. Hands back down. Pivot the back heel, step back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Stay for two breaths. Come back to your ujjayi breath especially when we are in stillness. Good. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward and hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, come up to your Utkatasana chair. And exhale. Come all the way up to standing. Very nice. From here, inhale, reach the arms up. Open the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, step the right leg back. Bend and place the right knee on the mat. Keep the right toes tucked under. And lift the arms up. Take your low lunge. Inhale. And exhale, place the hands on the mat, lift the back knee and extend the front leg into your pyramid. We are going to take this movement a couple of times. So come forward, place the right knee on the mat, lift the arms up, low lunge. 
arms down. Lift the right knee, extend the left leg to your mid pose. Twice more. Bend, lift, reach the arms up. And forward. And extend. Last one. Lift. And hands down and extend. Now you can stay here or like we did at the beginning of the class, you can turn the hands so you are pointing the fingers to the back of the mat and that way you are going deeper into the forearms and into the wrist. Try to align the hips by pulling the left hip back and pushing the right hip forward. Release the neck. Come back to your Ujjayi breath. You can take your arms to the back, stretch yourself even more. From here, come back forward, release the hands, bend the left knee, but keep the right knee on the uh, above the mat. Lift the arms up, high lunge. Inhale. Exhale, hands together. Stay here or twist to the left and place the right elbow against the outside of the left knee. Take your twisted high lunge. Stay. Breathe. Now, if you would like to take it a bit, a step forward, be deeper, you can extend the arms. Maybe look up. Or even take a bind by placing the left hand behind you and bending the right arm. You can use the left arm to do so. And bind. Beautiful detoxifying asana. Nice. Release the bind, come back into your Anjali Mudra. And then release, place the hands on the mat, extend the left leg one more time, and then slide the left leg all the way back to your one-legged dog, your three-legged dog, stay, good, come back into your plank, and back to your three-legged dog, lift the left leg up. Again, plank and three-legged dog. Two more. Plank and three-legged dog. Last one, plank and take your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay. Breathe. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward and hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hold. Inhale, stand up. Reach the arms up. Hands together and down to your heart. Nice. Let's take everything to the other side. So, starting by inhaling and reaching the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, and exhale, step the left leg now. Place the left knee on the mat, keep the left toes tucked under, and reach the arms up to your lower lunge. Open the chest. 
exhale, release the hands, extend the right knee and lift the left knee off the mat to your pyramid. We are going to take this movement a couple of times so we can go deeper. So again, bend the left knee, come back up to your low lunge. Hands down, extend both legs as much as you can, pyramid pose. Two more, inhale lower, lift the arms up, exhale hands down and pyramid pose. Last one, bend, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands down, push back, pyramid pose. And again, try to align the hips by pulling the right hip back, pushing the left hip slightly forward. And you can stay with your hands on the mat or maybe turn the hands so they are facing the back of the mat. And then walk to the back of the mat to stretch yourself even more. Come back to your Ujjayi breath. And if you cannot extend the legs all the way, it's okay. If you cannot point the hands back, it's okay. Again, release the ego mind. Release the, the wanting of the reward, the success. And just breathe, come back to your breath, come back to your karma, to your action on the mat. Good. From here, bend the right knee. Release the hand, hands back forward. Reach the arms up to your high lunge. Open your chest, hands together, down to your heart and you can stay here or maybe take a twist. Take the left elbow against the outside of the right knee. Stay, breathe. You can stay here in your Anjali Mudra or maybe extend the arms, reach the right arm up to the ceiling, to the sky. And you can take your bind by bending the left arm and the right arm behind your back. And take your fingers together, interlace them and bind. And if it's hard for you to bind because of the left arm, you can use the right arm to help the left arm to go under the right thigh, okay? Good. Take your hands back together, Anjali Mudra and twist, come back into your lunge. From here, release the hands, extend the right leg and slide the right leg all the way back into three-legged dog. From here, come back to your plank, place the foot down and lift the right leg up, three-legged dog. Again, plank and exhale, three-legged dog. Twice more. Plank and three legged dog. Last one. Plank. Stay and take your chaturanga. Bend the elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Very nice. Roll the shoulders out.
From here, lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward and jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up. Reach the arms up. Hands together. And down to your heart. Very nice. Close the eyes for a moment. Feel your body. Feel your feet rooting down to the mat, giving you the power, the strength to elongate yourself. And exhale, release the arms. Good, and inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, lift the left leg up and come into a variation of a warrior three. You can use books to place the hands on, so you can pause the video and bring you some books, or you can place the fingertips on the mat, okay? And from here, we are going to round our spine and take the left knee into the chest and extend it back. Again, round and extend. Twice more, round and extend. Last one and extend. Good, keep the left leg extend and open and stack the left hip over the right one, flex the left foot, bring the right hand a bit forward and lift the left arm up into your half moon. Good. Another balancing asana. Slowly start bending the right knee and step the left foot back into warrior two. Now, in warrior two, I want you to notice that the left heel is on the mat and you slightly pigeon toe the left foot inward to protect the knee. Bend the right knee and extend and reach the arms to the side of the room. Inhale. And exhale, try to go even deeper. Keep your drishti, your focus point. Very nice. From here, take your hands together, extend the right knee, reach the arms up, and then open the arms and bend the right knee. Let's dance with this pose again. Reach the arms up and open. Two more, reach and open. Last one, reach and open. Good. From here, hands together, extend the right knee and start bending the left knee, coming to your skandasana. Now, if it's too much, you can place the hands on the mat or hands at your heart. Stay, breathe and come into your warrior two. Let's take it again. Inhale. Exhale, hands together, extend the right knee. Again, you can use the hands on the mat. Come into your skandasana, side lunge. And push yourself back, warrior two. Last one. Hands together, extend the right knee. Keep the toes towards the ceiling, pointing towards the ceiling. Now stay in your skandasana. And you can use again your hands to slowly place the pelvis on the mat. Turn to the top of the mat and turn the left knee inward. Take the muscle out so it won't disturb you in the next asana. Reach the arms up, inhale, and exhale, fold forward towards the right foot. Come back into your Ujjayi breath. Good. 
good. Let's come back up. Release the left foot. And I want you to take the foot to the inside of the right knee, the right thigh. Inhale again, reach the arms up. And exhale, fold forward one more time. And it is very important to fold from the hips and not from the lower back. So if you are here, if you are rounding the lower back, you can bend the right knee, interlace the fingers behind the knee and open the chest, okay? Because when you are rounding the back, you are not stretching the, um, the hamstrings, you are stretching the lower back. And that is okay, but it's not the same asana. And it can put a lot of stress, uh, pressure on the vertebras of the lower back and we don't want to do so. So again, find a modification that fits you and release there. Nice. From here, come on up. Bend and place the left foot on the mat. Place the right foot on the mat, hip width apart. Hands behind your back. Open the chest. And exhale, lift the pelvis up. And lower. Again, lift. Come up to your table position. And lower. Last one, lift. You can throw your head back. You take the chin in, lower the pelvis, cross your feet, come back to your old force, step back into plank and take your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog nice leave the heels bend the knees look forward and hop to the front of the mat inhale halfway exhale fold inhale stand up reach up hands together and down to your heart take a second Let's take it to the other side. So inhale, reach the arms up. Hands together, exhale, swan dive all the way to the mat. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, I want you to stay on your fingertips or again bring your books and bend the left knee a bit just to reach the right leg up. Flex the foot. So we are in somewhat of a position of warrior three. And let's work with the breath. So, round your spine, bend the right knee into your chest, and extend. Again, round, and extend. Bend the right knee, round your spine, and extend. Last one, and extend. Now stay, flex the right foot, start stacking the right hip over the left one, you can align your body and bring the left fingertips a bit forward and then slowly reach the right arm up, half moon. Find your drishti, your focus point. Let's take two more breaths. And slowly bend the left knee and step the right foot back to your warrior two. And I want you again to notice that you slightly pigeon toe the right foot inward. So you protect the right knee, bend the left knee and see that you're not rolling the knee inward, but a bit outward. So you can see the big toe from where you are and then reach the arms out. Look over the left shoulder, 
towards the left fingertips. Breathe. Good. Let's start dancing. <laughs> so take your hands together, extend the arms and the left knee, and then open the arms and bend the left knee. Again, hands together, extend up and open. Twice more. Inhale up. Exhale, ujjayi breath, open. Last one, up. Exhale, open. Stay, try to engage yourself even more. From here, take your hands together. Extend the left knee and we're going to bend the right knee and come into our skandasana. And again, you can place the hands on the mat and back to your warrior two, extend the arms. Twice more, hands together, down to your skandasana. And extend. Last one, hands together, down to your skandasana, stay. And slowly place the pelvis on the mat, turn to the top of the mat, and turn the right knee in. Take the fleshy part, the muscle, out because I want you to be comfortable to place both seat bones on the mat. Reach the arms up and exhale, stretch forward. Try to stretch from the hips. And again, you know the drill. If it's too much, you can bend the knee and come a bit more higher with your chest. And if I'm coming back to the karma, the guidelines of the karma, this asana, I, I actually, <laughs> I, I couldn't stand it, <laughs> really. And I attached really, a really bad feeling, feelings into this asana. And I didn't understand why I, it, it wasn't possible for me to succeed in such like, it, it looks so easy on other people. And when I detach myself from succeeding and from defining myself as I am bad and the, the, in this asana, I actually started to succeed more. So the karma guidelines actually, actually work. <laughs> they work. So breathe. Good, come back up, release the right leg and place the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. Again, reach the arms up and exhale, fold forward from the hips all the way to the left leg. And wherever you are is wonderful. Remember all the rules of I don't like to say rules, but guidelines of the karma, or the karma yoga. The first one is to obey the laws of the universe and to not harm any creation. And that includes you. <laughs> okay, so if it's too much, you can back up a bit. Respect your body. Respect your mind. And respect your journey on the mat. Very nice. Come back up. And from here, extend both legs forward. You can slide yourself a bit forward. Flex both feet. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, start bending forward onto both of your legs. Again, bend from the hips. You can bend the knees and open the chest to do so. You can hold the ankles or come all the way down to the feet.
nice inhale come back up place the hands behind your back point the feet and lift the pelvis up and you can open and look back open the throat nice counter pose to the forward fold and come all the way back bend the knees so you have lots of room reach the arms forward and slowly with control roll all the way down nice from here hug the knees into your chest and start rocking side to side we are winding down the class preparing the body and the mind for shavasana let's take a beautiful calming twist so take both knees to the left you can place the left hand on top of the of, on top of the right knee and open the right arm to the side look over the right shoulder try to place both shoulders on the mat breathe deeply nice and through the center let's take it to the other side you can place the right hand on top of the left knee look over the left shoulder open the chest open the lower back Come back to center, hug the knees into your chest, and then extend the legs forward and release all the way to Shavasana. You can release the hair if you have curls like me, it's too much in Shavasana. <laughs> so stay there, open the legs and let the feet fall outwards open the arms palms facing up close the eyes take a deep breath through the nose and let's exhale together out the mouth and again inhale through the nose and exhale out the mouth Allow your body to completely relax, to sink down to the mat and take a second to look inward to how your body feels and how your mind feels and try to do so without any judgment, just a journey. And sometimes we need to detach ourselves and look from, from other angles. It's like detaching ourselves from our own mind and body sometimes. Just to come back and see ourselves in other light not listening to the ego mind not listening to others saying who we are just looking from the outside seeing who we are right now doesn't matter who we were doesn't matter who we are going to be it matters who we are right now try not to define yourself just watch mm -hmm. 
in Shavasana, you can come back to the root chakra, to the element of earth. Reconnect with Mother Nature. Reconnect with the deepest love of all, the love of the universe, the love of the creation, love of forces bigger than us, stronger than us. And this love feels so safe, honest and pure. So feel this love. Feel the caressing of Mother Earth. Feel the element of earth. Becoming dominant. Grounding you. Feeling the root chakra, the muladhara chakra, which is the earth chakra as well. Open itself. Releasing any tension you hold in the roots of your body. If the monkey mind, you know it about myself, try to try to push you to other places, think about things you need to do or things you need to to own, have or to succeed. You can release this monkey mind, this ego by coming back to your breath and reconnect with the touch of your body on the mat. Feel again the caressing of Mother Earth and feel the calming energy of the universe. Always remember when you are judging yourself, when you're telling yourself bad things, when you're thinking negative thoughts, think that you are a beautiful creation of this universe. You are beautiful, bright light energy in form of a human being. And by judging yourself and insulting yourself, you are going against your Dharma which is respecting the laws of nature, the laws of the universe and the creations of the universe in which you are part of them. Don't go against the laws of the universe. Don't go against yourself. Respect yourself. Respect your journey. Respect your past. Accept your present and look forward for your future.
Now you can stay here for as long as you like. Or if you are ready, you can start moving your fingers and your toes, allowing fresh blood and oxygen to come into your body. Then take your arms over your head, stretch yourself. Good, bend the knees. And through one side, come all the way up to your sitting position on the mat. Take your time. And when you are ready, meet me in the center of the mat. Inhale, reach the arms up, open the chest, gather all the positive energies of the universe, hands together, and then take your thumbs in between your eyebrows to your pineal gland, to your third eye. Awaken your body, awaken the kundalini, the energy of your body and your mind and then all the way to your heart, to your Anjali Mudra. Thank you. I wish you a beautiful rest of the day, rest of the year, and I wish you to practice your actions, your karma with love towards yourself, towards the universe, towards everything around you. See the beauty in everything and be grateful for who you are, for your life, and for the ability to just live. What a beautiful thing it is to just live. If you enjoy this practice, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Thank you. Namaste.